This rugged-looking man can not only love little kittens, he can even cry. A few months ago, our hero decided to change fields and work with animals. Immediately, he received a call saying, Mike, can you take some kittens to foster? Sure enough, he agreed, and soon the little fur babies were in his home. Four squeaky babies crawled into his arms, begging for food and looking at him with expressive eyes. Three of them were boys, and the Snow White kitten was a girl. Mike named her Leia. Looking at the babies, the man could not believe his eyes. Was this really happening to him? He really agreed to become a daddy to these little ones, who need to be fed by the hour and need a lot of attention. Yes, this was really happening to Mike, and he was partly excited and partly thrilled. The situation was complicated by the fact that the babies were underweight and in poor health. Each day was like a fight for life that might end in the kitten's favor today, but could be lost tomorrow. In an atmosphere of fear and concern for the babies, Mike lived all those days. And then one of the kittens died. It was Tiny Yoda. Don't cry, don't cry, Mike kept saying to himself. And in that moment, tears streamed down his cheeks. This man with a deceptively brutal appearance was sobbing nonstop. And soon, little Leah fell ill. Every day, she looked worse and lost weight, and Mike panicked. He rushed to the doctor, who said the baby could die at any moment. Still, he is willing to help, so he offers a seven-day therapy to see if Leah can be saved from death. Exactly 24 hours later, the baby was feeling better. It was amazing. The little girl seemed to come alive. She was running, jumping, playing with her brothers, and looking much better. The doctor had saved her. The rest of the weeks the kitten spent at Mike's house went smoothly. The babies grew and gained weight, and the man had a lump in his throat. He had grown attached to them, but he had to return the kittens to the shelter. I tried not to cry, Mike admits, but it was very difficult. The goodbye was sad and painful. The man admits that he doesn't regret for a second that he agreed to take the tiny kittens into his home and now hopes that they will find owners who will love them as their own children. By the way, he added that he will be fostering the kittens more than once.